Researchers find a food crisis solution, and it's in your martini glass. Drought is causing plants to wither and food crops to fail in many parts of the world. CNN. Many people in the northern hemisphere have spent the summer reaching for a boozy drink at the end of the day to take the edge and edge off the scorching dry heat. It turns out that the tipple may be just what plants need to. The peer-reviewed study published this Thursday in the journal Plant and Cell Physiology suggests that ethanol or alcohol can help the plant survive in times of drought, even for as long as two weeks without water. When plants are de- deprived of water, they naturally produce ethanol, although the reasons for its produ- production are unknown. It laid the researchers from the Likan Center for Sustainable Resource Science in Japan to theor- theorize that giving alcohol to plants maybe protects them from drying in the drought. The discovery came from the process of searching for compounds that make plants resistant to stress. Mokwaki Seki, the study lead author, told CNN, The findings are not just useful for the world's gardens, but also for our farms growing vital crops like rice and wheat. Drought flu- Proofing staple crops can help alleviate food insecurity, which is an issue affecting many parts of the world right now, exacerbated by heat waves, Russia's war in Ukraine, and supply chain issues. The researchers said that ethanol was the useful and simple way to increase the food production all over the world in times of drought or water scarcity. Weed specimens did not survive at high rates when soil was deprived, deprived, deprived of water left, but those pre-treated with, with ethanol right fared much better. To come up with their findings, the researchers grew wheat and the rice plant, regularly watering them, and then added ethanol to the soil, soil in one group of plants over three days. They then deprived both groups of water for two weeks and find, found that drink, drunk water plant pairs better than sober ones. Around 50, 75% of ethanol treated wheat and rice plants survived after re watering, while less than 5% of the untreated plants did. The external application of ethanol to plants would be a useful, simple, and less expensive agricultural method to enhance drought tolerance in various plants, Seki said, as genetic modification of plants would not be needed. But he warned that the ethanol needed to be used spar- sparingly, as a higher concentration of ethanol inhibits the plant growth. In other words, don't try this at home. They, the study also looked at how ethanol protects a plant using alabidopsis, a small plant commonly used in experiment. The researchers discovered that when ethanol-treated specimens were deprived of water, tiny openings on the leaves' the surface called the stomata closed up, retaining water and heat. Seki and his colleagues studied Alabidopsis gene expression and find, found that the ethanol-treated plants started behaving as if they were experiencing drought even before they were actually deprived of water. This gene expression gives the plants a heat to start in preparing for the drought, Seki explained, adding that the ethanol is also used by plants to make the sugars needed to produce energy. Seki told CNN that he and his team will soon begin testing ethanol on plants in real field.